Now you can also buy our favorite toys from www.pontoonkids.com. Link is in the description. New Year Eve. It was the eve of New Year, and Gattu Chinki were waiting for their papa to come home near the door. They had invited all their friends to their home for a party. Kids, you have been standing there for so long. Come in and sit. No, mummy. We are going to wait here until papa comes home. Yes, mummy. We are just waiting for papa. That's it. That's when papa returned. Uh, guys, were both of you waiting for me here? Yes, yes papa. papa. <laughs> Let's go inside. Have a look. What have I brought for you? Gattu and Chinki went inside with Papa. They sat on the couch and started going through the things that Papa brought. Wow, Papa! So many chocolates. These chocolates look delicious. Yes, Gattu. But remember, you should not eat all the chocolates at once. Otherwise, your teeth might get damaged. Okay, Papa. Don't worry. And look at this. I have brought so many things to decorate our house. We will use all of these for today's New Year party. Yes, Papa. These items are very nice. It will make our home look even more beautiful. Yes, Chinky. And that's not all. Look, I have even brought some gifts for both of you. Papa gave their gifts to Gattu and Chinky. When Gattu and Chinky opened their gifts, they saw there were new dresses for both of them. Wow, Papa. This dress is so cute. Yes, Papa. I also like the gift that you got for me. Thank you, Papa. Really, I'm happy to hear that you guys liked your gifts. So I think we should start decorating our house quickly. It's almost the party time. Then, without wasting time, Gattu, Chinky, and Papa started decorating the house. While Mummy was preparing tasty dinner for everyone in the kitchen. Papa, Papa, where should I put these lights? Oh, Gattu, wait a minute. You can't put them all by yourself. I will help you. Okay, Papa. Let's put them on together. Papa, shall I make rangoli from flowers in the front of the main gate? Yes, Chinky, you can do that. Also, stick this Happy New Year sticker. Okay, Papa. After some time, they finished decorating their house nicely. Well done, kids. You guys did a great job today. And Chinky, your rangoli is looking very beautiful. Very good. Thank, Thank you, Papa. Papa. Now let's go. Your friends will be here at any minute. Both of you should hurry up and get ready. Your mummy and I will arrange the dinner on the table. Oh yes, hurry up, Chinky. Goody, hurry, Bunty. They will be on their way. Let's get ready quickly. Okay, Gattu. Let's go. As Gattu and Chinky got ready, after a few minutes, their friends also came over. Mummy came into Gattu and Chinky's room and said. My dear kids, both of you are looking very beautiful today. Chinky, you should welcome your friends and Gattu. Help me carry these snacks outside. Okay, mummy. All of them sat together in the living room and started enjoying the snacks. Kids, have this. I have prepared some New Year special snacks today, and you all should definitely try these brownies. Auntie, brownies are the best. I tried them before anything else. <laughs> so have some more. Okay, Andy. So kids, tell us, how was your year? It, it was, was very nice. nice. Good, good. So kids, now, why don't you tell me the best memory you have of this year one by one? After hearing this, all the kids started thinking about something. What happened, kids? Okay, Bunty, let's start from you. Uh, the best memory that I have, Uncle. This year, Mummy and Papa took me to a very big bakery, and there we could have unlimited food. And in the end, Papa bought me a blueberry pastry too. <laughs> that is my best memory of this year. <laughs> very good, Bunty. This is really a very good memory. <laughs> Now it's your turn, Gattu Chinki. Tell us about your best memory. Papa, when Grandma and Grandpa came to our home, and we had corn. When it was raining, I really enjoyed that day very much, and I enjoyed the best when it was my birthday. You know, Papa, that day I was very happy. Kids, you have very nice memories. Very good. Come on, guys, let's cut the cake together. Yay! Yay! Auntie, this cake looks very delicious. 
Did you prepare the cake yourself? Yes, Sari. Thank you so much. So, children, tell me, who wants to cut the cake? Um, Uncle, Auntie has baked such a tasty cake. So, let her only cut the cake. Yes, that's a nice idea. Mummy, please cut the cake. Yes, yes Auntie, Auntie, you, you should, should do, do it. it. No, dear. I have prepared the cake for you guys. One of you should cut it. I think the kids are right. You should cut the cake. Oh, okay. All right then. So, Mummy cuts the New Year's cake and everyone started clapping together. Happy New Year! Happy New Year, kids! I wish from the bottom of my heart that this New Year should be very good for all of you. And you should be able to make some nice memory like last year. All the kids ate the cake and after that, they sat around to eat dinner. Auntie, you have prepared a very tasty dinner. Thank you, Auntie. Thank you, Auntie. <laughs> Welcome, dear kids. Eat well and if you need anything else, let me know. Okay, okay Auntie. Auntie. After finishing dinner, they all started eating dessert. Wow, this eve was so nice and the party was amazing. Chinky, dear. But the party is not yet over. The main surprise is yet to come. After hearing this, all the kids were very surprised. Surprise? What surprise, Papa? Come on, let's go in the balcony, everyone. All the kids gathered on the balcony and they saw that there were lots of paper lanterns. Wow! Are we going to fly lanterns too? Yes, Gattu. Now we will fly these lanterns. Come on. With the help of Papa, all the kids were able to fly the lanterns. There were many lanterns in the sky and it created a mesmerizing view. Wow! This looks so amazing! Happy, Happy New Year! Year! In this way, Gattu, Chinky and their friends welcomed the New Year with lots of happiness. If you are liking our videos, then like them, comment them and subscribe.